Hi, my name is Jordan Whalen. I play Prince William in uh, Harry and Meghan Becoming Royal, and you're watching Lauren Loves It. So we're going to talk about your top three favorite movies yeah. uh, of all time, because all time. we love movies. I'm so bad at these on the record, like your favorite or top three or everything. Oh yeah, this is You Have to Say It. It's I know, it's on record now forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with number three, your third favorite. Uh, number three, I would have to go with um, Stranger Than Fiction, uh, starring Will Ferrell um, and Emma Thompson. I, I don't know, there's something about that movie. Whenever, and maybe it's because it kind of mirrors my life, not that I hear somebody, you know, narrating a book about my life and, and eventual demise, um, but whenever somebody kind of has a life that they're like okay or content enough with, but then decide to kind of challenge themselves and work to get the life that they want. Um, I, I don't know, there's something just very attractive about a story like that for me. I find, I, I don't know, There's I think there's a, I don't want to say a dark side, but kind of a sad side to a lot of the funny guys. And I, I think enough people have admitted that, you know, uh, people have gone through depression and, and things like that, but comedy is a way for them to kind of get it out. Um, uh, but yeah. for for him in that movie, I thought he was just, yeah, just just kind of maybe accessing a different part of him, and and really just just taking on the role as an actor. And the the role is not some kind of funny goofy guy, uh, you know, like he is in Step Brothers or Talladega Nights, but it's just just you got to play the person. And exactly. I, I don't know, it worked for me. Yeah, and so you, as an actor, you have studied extensively, right? I mean, you have your master's, correct, from Wayne State. Yes. Um, so tell me a little bit about, about your journey as an actor. Well, so I started um, acting only like, the, like I think I, I did a student-directed one act at the tail end of high school. And I was like, oh, that's fun. And I kind of, I, it was awful, I'm sure, but I, I, I got a few laughs and I was like, well, that's fun. So then I went to college at Iowa State University and I'm, I'm from Iowa, so it was my hometown um, college. And I just auditioned for everything that I, I could and had a little bit of success right away. And then, you know, kept on kind of getting cast. Um, but I was still pretty green. For me, I knew I needed a little bit more education. So getting my master's was very important. Also because I wanted to, and still do, eventually want to teach. Um, the craft of acting is very important to me and, you know, kind of standing on the shoulders of, of you know, Stanislavski, Meisner, Uta Hage, and Stella Adler, um, and just trying to learn from them everything that there is to learn, because these, these were master acting teachers and actors. Um, you know, brilliant, brilliant people who found a way to analyze what they were doing and and put it into a, a teachable you know method um and so for me that's that's what you know grad school is about so i went to wayne state university in detroit michigan yeah you did yeah. too yeah. i didn't know that wayne yeah oh my gosh wayne yeah. state. what were yours <laughs> um yeah it was and it was amazing i knew i wanted to be in a city uh having come from iowa and spent the first like 25 years of my life in the same hometown i was like just itching to kind of explore the world and, and get a different side of things and, and Detroit certainly offered me that. But it was a, a classical repertory program um, and that's it's actually the oldest or was, I think they might have switched models now, but the oldest uh, repertory university in, in America. Wow. And it kind of replicates the, the British way of doing it. You know, Ian McKellen and, and Patrick Stewart, I think they came up where you just, you, you do repertory theater and you play a character that you have no earthly business playing. You know, you gotta play a 75 year old man or something when you're you're 25. Right. But, you know, I think Judy Dench even said something about that. And it's just, it, it, it allows you to kind of grow in a, in a safe environment um, and challenge yourself with roles that, that are against your type. And then you're also working with classical texts, you know, Shakespeare, Arthur Miller, um, just, just, you know, Tennessee Williams, these, these amazing, challenging and complex works. And if you can kind of cut your teeth on that, I think you can cut your teeth on anything that's written today. I'm not knocking anything that, that's written today, but it's just, you know, these, these have withstood the test of time for sure. Second favorite movie, um, 
Lord of the Rings. Uh, um, I know that's probably on a lot of people's top three lists. I don't know, there's, there's something about that kind of epic, fantastical landscape and I don't know, I thought Peter Jackson just did it the right way. Uh, you know, they took their time, um, they had the courage to reshoot a lot of scenes after they realized they just didn't have the right actor in one of the roles and, um, you know, built, um, you know, the, 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 the Hobbit world out there uh, uh, in New Zealand. And I just, I don't know, the, just the imagination that went into it and realizing this kind of epic um, trilogy of books is, was just was just amazing and brilliant, I thought. Um, in your new movie, your royal movie, I was just watching the trailer and yeah. your accent is pretty darn good. Meg, think the royals will ever really accept you? The firm has been around for a thousand years. You've known each other 18 months. <laughs> you know, I, I, I studied and I, I worked at that. Um, my dialect coach, uh, uh, a woman by the name of Anna Galvin, you know, she really helped me and I didn't have a lot of time. You know, I was, I think I was cast and then five days later I arrived in, in Vancouver for the next five weeks where it would film and then five days after that, or four days even, I was I was shooting. So it's like, ugh, I really got to get this this dialect down. Um, but Anna, you know, suggested just like, stay stay in dialect as often as you can. And Helen Mirren has, has said the same thing. And I was like, well, there's no reason I, I, I can't just stay in this the entire five weeks. And yeah. so, you know, even in, in, you know, Skyping with my parents or, um, you know, just, just chatting with, with friends offset, I was staying in dialect. And I kind of liken that to like learning a language, but going, like, if you want to learn German, go to Germany and okay. just be immersed in the culture where I know everybody speaks English, but if you can, like, just speak, you know, listen in German, speak in German, and you're just constantly sharpening that in your mind. Mm. Um, and, and just, you know, constantly, you know, mirroring other actors, because I, I was fortunate enough to have a few you know, Brits working on, on the set. The director was British. Uh, a couple of the main characters were British. Most of my scenes were with uh, Prince Harry and Charlie Field, who played Prince Harry. He's from London. So not the same exact dialect, um, but luckily there are thousands and thousands and thousands of, inter of hours of interviews. Well, okay, your last movie, you have to do in your Prince William accent. I've got to do, uh, well, it's, you know, it's a bit controversial too, because it's a Scottish movie. Uh, it's set in Scotland, so, um, it's Braveheart, um, which is my all-time favorite movie. I've probably seen it about 75, 80 times. And um, I took a trip to, to Scotland this last August, actually. Oh, and, cool. uh, basic, but I, I went and visited a lot of the filming locations and just kind of reinforced my love. I don't know what it is. Again, you've got another epic, you know, this, this epic movie. And I also appreciate it because it was before CGI. Uh, so you've got thousands and thousands of extras being used as the soldiers in these battles and there was something just so rich and full about those battles that was interesting. Plus it's a great love story and it, it shows you Scotland. You know, Scotland is the, is the set and it's just, I know a lot of it was filmed in Northern Ireland, but it was, it's a heartbreakingly beautiful country and it is just... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not Scottish, but I, I feel Scottish in my bones, and I don't know if it's... I think that's... many people, like, just watching that movie, they feel that sense of camaraderie and, you know, Scottish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. And it's it's cool. It's a, it's a great island to explore. Uh, it's, it's completely open. You can go on to pretty much anyone's land and just, like, go around, the, you know, climb over the fence or just, you know, go through the gate. They're just like, hey, make sure you close it up. I think that was a law that was passed about 10, 15 years ago, but, you know... Yeah. It, it's really cool to just kind of get to explore, you know, see something, be like, oh, I, I want to go over there. And you can literally walk across the, you know, you know, go, go across the river, take off your shoes and, and walk around on somebody else's land amongst the sheep and the rain. So it's cool. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Well, Jordan, you are just really getting started. I know your career is going to blossom as much as you oh, want it cool. to. Um, but what, legacy would you like to leave behind as an actor and, and eventually as a, a teacher? Um, I think just, for me, I'm a lifelong learner and I don't ever want that to stop. 
Um, so while I can learn from, you know, I studied with Deborah Hedwall here in the city and she studied under uh, Sanford Meisner and Uta Hagen, um, Stella Adler, I believe for a little while too, is just to learn as much as I can. And then as a teacher to be able to pass on what I have learned as well. Um, I'm not, I'm not really seeking fame uh, or, or, or fortune or anything like that. You know, you might be able to make a living off of it, but uh, really just a respect for the craft and ever, do everything in service of truth. You know, Meisner said acting is, um, you know, moment to moment truth, you know, and, and that's, that's really kind of, you know, living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. And that's, that's my goal in life. And I guess, to be respected by the people you respect, uh, you know, within the field, and and yeah, just to be the best, the best damn actor and, and and teacher I can be. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank you. This is wonderful. <laughs> no, this is, this is, I'm so honored that you did this. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm honored that you asked me. Thank you so and much. And when does the movie come out? Movie comes out May 27th, Memorial Day, 8 p.m. Eastern on the Lifetime Channel. So. Oh yeah, I'll be there with my popcorn, and Thank I'm you. so excited. Oh and yeah. Yes, we better keep in touch too, because we better. I'm gonna be following your career for sure.